In this video, we're looking at how to prove that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. To help us with our proof, we're going to go to page 14 on our log tables. And actually, you can see our cos 2a uh, double angle formula here. It's given to us as cos squared a minus sine squared a. So that's what we want to prove. But to prove it, we're going to use our compound angle formula cos a plus b is equal to cos a times cos b minus sine a times sine b. So we're going to use that as, as part of our proof. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to write that down and that's going to be the key. So we have from our log tables, page 14, cos a plus b is equal to cos a times cos b minus sine a times sine b. So that's from our logs. Now, if we think of just out to the side here for a second, we know another way of writing at uh, 2a. Uh, we can write that as a plus a. Because if you substitute in any value for a, so let's just think of like the number 7. If I have to put 7 in for a, 2 times 7 is 14, which is the same as 7 plus 7, which is also 14. So I'm just going to basically expand 2a. So instead of writing it as 2a, I'm actually going to write it as cos a plus a, because a plus a is 2a. And if I look at it now, what's happening here? I'm basically subbing in a for a and a for b into my cos a plus b formula from page 14. So when I sub them in, I'm going to go cos a, well, which is being substituted with an a, so that doesn't change. My b is now being substituted with an a minus sine a, well my a is substituted with an a, so that stays as is, and my b is being substituted with an a. And now I'm going to basically evaluate them, so I have cos a plus a is equal to cos a times cos a is uh, squaring it, so that becomes uh, cos a all to be squared. And sine a multiplied by sine a becomes sine a all to be squared. Now, when we want to write squares in trigonometry, we write it as cos squared a. So we put the squared above the cos. So that means cos a all to be squared. And sine a squared becomes sine squared a. And that's equal to cos a plus a. And we're basically done. That's our proof. I'm just going to rewrite that then. Instead of writing it as cos a plus a, I'm going to write it as, well, what is a plus a? It's 2a. So cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And that's the same if you're using different symbols for angle. You could have been using theta or b or x, whatever it may be. And that's our proof.